Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to wind pwn your uh, iPod Touch, or you could just say jailbreak. It's just going to be the fastest way on how to get it. So first you want to have your iPod plugged into the computer. So make sure it's plugged in and it's turned on. And before you do this, make sure um, iTunes is closed. So close out iTunes. Fully closed. Okay, then um, go into, make sure you, first, before you do any of this, download it the links into the right of the video description and please um uh, comment below if the one of the links stopped working or the link is down or something so yeah so first what you want to do is go into Winpone mine saved into a folder so I'm gonna click on Winpone has a little pineapple on it so you click on that go into browse IPSW I'm gonna wait for this and then remember, again remember your iPod's plugged in and you have to have iTunes uh, exit it out. So go to browse IPSW, click on the restore 2.0 restore firmware that you were supposed to download in the right of the video description. Make sure you do not click on the custom restore firmware. Don't click on the custom restore firmware. So click on, it should say iPod 1, 1, 2.058347, unless there's a new link, but okay, so yeah, click on that. It's going to take a while to load up, and then it's going to say, be sure to connect an iPod, but if you have an iPhone, it's going to say iPhone. After that, you're going to want to go into I iPoner. This is, I'm just going to show you the fastest way. I'm not going to go into I so IPSW, so go into iPoner. Go into wherever you saved the custom firmware. I saved mine into documents, so now click on the custom restore firmware, not the restore firmware, the custom restore firmware. firmware. Um, so click on that. Should take a while to load up. And yeah, so and it's gonna say your iTunes has been pwned. So click OK. You can exit out of this, exit out of Win Pwn and everything. Then you want to go into iTunes. Sorry about that. You guys want to go into iTunes. Mine's going to take a while to load because I have a kind of slow computer. Okay, my, uh, your iPod should be plugged. Yeah, there it goes. So what you want to do is go click on your iPod. Okay. Click on your iPod. And, um, yeah. So what you want to do is, uh, I'm just going to cancel the sync really quickly. Cancel the sync. Okay, so what you want to do is, um, have your iPod like this, and you want to. This I'm gonna. Put, you're gonna have to put it in DFU mode. So you want to hold this for 10 seconds. Hold, press down this and this at the same time for 10 seconds. So and make sure your iPod's turned on or iPhone. So here it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then you want to lift up the uh, this button, and then you want to hold this until. Uh, your iPod connects back in. You should hear the beeping noise. And there it goes. There it goes. It says, iTunes has de has detected an iPod in recovery mode. You must restore your iPod before it can be used with iTunes. So you want to click OK. And then you want to click on Shift Restore. Shift button right here. Shift. So click on right here. Shift. Restore. Oh, and by the way, your guys' iPod should be black, so nothing on it. So, Shift Restore, and then you guys want to click on uh, the Custom Restore firmware. Make sure you click on the Custom Restore firmware. So, double-click on that, or you could just click Open. Custom Restore firmware. Then it should start um, uh, uh, putting, it should put City on your iPod. And also, for your boot-up logo, it's going to automatically come as the, um, I'll show you guys right now. Okay, oh, well, it's going to come out as a pineapple, the Winpone logo thing. And also, after you do that, your iPod's going to be white, so don't panic or anything. And do not unplug your iPod. Don't unplug your iPod until it's fully done. And, oh, and by the way, you have to set it up as a new iPod. So don't, it, you can get some problems if you don't set it up as a new iPod or iPhone. And also, please subscribe and comment below if you have any problems. See, oh, yeah, here's the boot up logo now. It should have that little, it should be doing this. And yeah, so, um, please subscribe, uh, comment below 
if you have any questions and please rate this video and so thanks YouTube bye